Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 8 which is all about the nuclear model of atom and the discovery of neutrons. This will be the second quarter topic, week 1 and day 4. This lesson is under the Matatag grade. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to learn their contribution in the understanding of the structure of the atom of Ernest Rutherford and James Chadwick The second one is to create a concept map about the nuclear model of the atom and the discovery of neutrons And the third one is to appreciate their contribution in the development of the the modern atomic model by answering the guide questions. From the previous model, the plum padding model, the student should always uh, understand the presence of both positively charged space and negatively charged particles inside the atom. So this is a vital since based on observation, the atom is neutral. You may ask the students to work on what you will do, activity 3.2, positive and positive poles of the Department of Education. Then, place the two positive ends of the magnet near each other and observe what happens. The student should observe that when similar poles of the magnet are placed near each other, the magnets tend to move away from each other. As the fundamental laws of physics say, Similar poles repeal or opposite charge attract, like charges repeal. For the work example, the students will accomplish activity number four, which is all about the center of the atom. For the objectives, at the end of the activity, the students are expected to know who Ernest Ford and James Chadwick are, learn their contribution in the understanding of the structure of the atom and appreciate his contribution in the development of the modern atomic model. For the materials needed are the following pen, paper, activity sheet, drawing materials, internet, cell phone or computer. For the instructions, get to know the life and work of Brother Ford and Chadwick by reading the copy of their profile provided by the teacher. You may conduct additional research about them and their contribution to the development of the structure of the atom. And watch the video about Brother Ford Alpha scattering experiment and discovery of neutron. Then answer the following guide questions. Ernest Rutherford was born in Nelson, New Zealand, and in 1894, he received a scholarship enabling him to work as a research student at the Cavendish Laboratory in Trinity College, Cambridge, under J.J. Thompson. In 1910, his investigation into the scattering of alpha rays and the nature of the inner structure of the atom, which caused such scattering, lead to the postulation of his concept of the nucleus, his greatest contribution to the physics. According to him, practically the whole mass of the atom and at the same time all positive charge of the atom is concentrated in a minute space at the center. So Rutherford's chief recreation were golf and motoring. All the positive charge and most of the mass of the atom are concentrated the nucleus. So the nucleus is about 10,000 times smaller than the atom. 
most of the volume of the atom is occupied by the electrons outside the nucleus. So, electrons move around the nucleus like planets orbiting the sun. After the teacher discussed the profiles of Rutherford, the students now watch the video of the Rutherford's alpha scattering experiment. Afterwards, the students will answer the following guide questions. For the first question, what observations did Rutherford make in his experiment? For the second question, what do his observations tell us about the structure of the atom? And for the third guide question, draw an illustration of an atom based on the description of Ernest Rutherford. James Chadwick was born in Chester, England, and he gained his MSc degree in 1913 after working on various radioactivity problems under Rutherford in the physical laboratory in Manchester. His hobbies include gardening and fishing. The atom was thought to consist of the positively charged nucleus surrounded by negatively charged electrons until 1932. In 1932, James Chadwick used beryllium atoms and bombarded with alpha particles. There was a radiation that was unknown. According to Chadwick's interpretation, the radiation was made up of particles that had the mass of the proton and a neutral electrical charge. These particles become known as the neutron. The following are the characteristics of the neutron. So the neutron has the mass of 1.67262 multiplied to 10 to the power of 24 gram. So the neutron has no charge and the neutron can be found inside the nucleus. After discussing the profile of Chadwick, now the students will watch the video of the discovery of the neutron. Afterwards, the students will answer the following guide questions. For the first question, what are the characteristics of a neutron? And for the second question, what is the significance of the discovery of the neutron in the understanding of the atomic structure? For the lesson activity, the students will give a brief description for the illustration below. Another lesson activity is to use the p-hit simulation on Rutherford scattering for the students to better understand the nucleus. This can be done as a class or a small groups. Provide the simulation link to the students and let them describe what they observe in the screen and direct students to the important parts that they will be using for the activity. Provide the instructions in print or flash in the screen. And for the instructions, select the plum padding atom, turn on the alpha particles or the blue buttons, click the traces box, and observe the path the alpha particles take. And the second one is to select the Rutherford atom, turn on the alpha particles, blue button, Click the traces box, observe the path that the alpha particles take. Afterwards, the students will answer the following guide questions. For the first question, describe the path of the alpha particles when the plum padding model was used. The second one is to describe the path of the alpha particles when the Rutherford atom was used. And for the third question, how do the two models differ? And for the fourth question, based on this activity, the gold foil experiment, what characteristics of the nucleus can be reduced? Afterwards, the students will summarize the characteristics of the subatomic particles in this table. For the learner's takeaways, the students will read the article entitled The Microplastics, Small Particles, Big Threat from Microplastics, Small Particles, The Big Threat. 
and afterwards the students will answer the following guide questions. For the first question, what are microplastics? For the second question, how are microplastics formed? And for the third question, what is or are the impacts of microplastics to the marine animals? And for the fourth guide question, how does microplastics affect the coral reefs and the giant clams? And for the fifth question, how can we reduce microplastics in the environment? And for the Reflection and learning allow the students to create a concept map about what they have learned in this week's lesson.